Hi, I'm Mimi. Welcome to my channel, Mimi in the Middle, where I talk about all things health and wellness from a middle age perspective. It's been a while since I've shared anything on this channel, but I've been just really, really busy with school, with work, with life. But I am feeling a calling to come back to the channel and share what's going on with me. So this is something that I decided to work on today and I wanted to take you on a journey with me as I work to get rid of 48 clothing items in my closet in honor of my upcoming 48th birthday. All right, so boom. I had the ingenious idea that what I would do is to work on getting things cleaned up in my room once and for all by getting rid of 48 items. And I guess I shouldn't say once and for all. Started. I'm getting started, right? So I'm going to get started by um, getting rid of 48 items in my closet in celebration of my upcoming 48th birthday. So that is what I'm going to do. I had already gotten started getting rid of some things, but I want to do a few more. Um, so let me show you what I started with. First of all, let me show you why I need to do this. Very embarrassing, but this is my closet. It's a nice space. I have really nice items and it's a hot mess in here. And it's been a hot mess for a while. And then my husband will come and like reorganize me and then it becomes a hot mess again because by nature, I am a really messy person. Um, it's embarrassing. I've been like this my entire life. People who love me have accepted me and they don't like shame me too much about it, but I want, as I approach my 50th year, there's so many different things I want to do in my life as I'm becoming this, this person, this new decade of life. And one of them is to be organized and to have a little bit more peace. This does not bring me peace. So I need to work on it and just um, do something different. So that's what I want to do. So this is my closet. Now, these things are all clean, first of all some things I need to put up and then I've started on the 48 the things that are here and I'll show that a little bit later that are on the hanger are things I had already started um, getting ready to discard so clothes that I just need to put in drawers I hang up are here so I'll put that on the bed to work on and then what I'll do is start to count get rid of and count 48 items at least 48 items out of the closet hopefully starting with things that are hanging up, but behind this mirror are hampers that are full of other clothes as well. So if I have to dig into those for the 48, I'll do that, but we'll see. So I love dresses and what I did initially maybe a couple of weeks ago was try to figure out which dresses I would no longer wear. So actually not all these things are dresses, but a lot of them were. Um, so dresses I've just had for years and just have never worn. There's nothing wrong with it, which is why I was keeping it. But if I'm not wearing it and I've bought like 50 more dresses since then, since then, I can get rid of this. So that's one. Some of these are just really big. And I kept saying, oh, I'll get them, you know, altered or tailored. That's not happening. So I'm just getting rid of them. If they're too big, I'm getting rid of them. Also things that are just old. These are um, like capris. 
they're so outdated. I'm not wearing these again. And if I wanted to wear them, if they came back in style, I'll just buy new ones. These are just old and outdated. Something I bought. Oh, don't want to break anything. Something I bought off of Amazon, which is like, I've bought dresses off of Amazon and clothes off of Amazon. It's been fine. This was not one of them. I bought it because it was royal blue and I needed a royal blue dress for a sorority event. But you see, it has tags on it because I never wore it. Also, some outdated, um, what do you call these? Blazers, I guess. I'm never wearing this shiny thing. I don't think I ever wore it. I might have wore it once or twice, but it's not getting worn again. This dress I really liked, the wrap dress. I love wrap dresses, but my husband did something to it and the kind of discolored now, so I'm just getting rid of it. And then there's leopard print. This particular one I've had for many years and it just looks old and outdated. Uh, this shirt is just really, really too big, as is this one. I tried to keep it, but these things are just big. Um, no need to keep them. Okay, so hopefully you heard me over the um, fan that I had earlier on. Um, if not, as I was saying before, um, I'm working to get rid of 48 items out of my closet in honor of my upcoming 48th birthday. So I had already started getting rid of some items. And so now I'm going to count and see how many they are. And then I've got to get the balance of them to get to at least 48. If I can do over 48, that'll be saying something, but I doubt it. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Another black shirt and 12 and I think I have one more thing in my closet yeah this is a dress that I bought um, just recently actually but it's just I put it on I wore it to an event and then I saw pictures and video and I really didn't like the way I looked in it so I don't like it anymore so I get rid of it so that's 13 so I have so far gotten rid of 13 items, and so I've got to come up with, okay, I'm not going to do the math, but more so I can get to 48 items um, in honor of my 48th birthday. <sighs> Here goes. Start a new pile. That's 20. I took my husband's shirt. I don't know. I know I'm not wearing this shirt. It's his, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay, I bought this dress a while ago. It doesn't really fit that well. I bought it from Ross, but it's so pretty. This color, the length, I wanna try to work with it a little bit. So I, I don't wanna get rid of it. And it has pockets too. This is like a really nice dress. It's just not very well constructed so that it just fits oddly. But I think I'm gonna keep it for now, but I may have to figure out what to do with it. If anything, I may just give this to my mom to make like part of a quilt because this, this fabric is just beautiful. It's very pretty. I 
I think a girl should have a dashiki and this is a really pretty blue and white one so I'm gonna keep it I don't wear it that often but sometimes I just feel like putting on a dashiki so there you go Okay, I've had these uh, little jackets for years and each time I try to get rid of them, my husband tries to convince me that they're worth keeping, but I am finally gonna get rid of them because I think they're outdated at this point because I have I barely wore them when they were in style and now they're out of style, so I'm definitely getting rid of these. I feel so much better knowing that I've finally gotten these out of my closet. another one so <laughs> this is like what one two three four Five pair of these pants. I know there's more around here too, but I'm gonna get rid of all of these. This, I don't know what this is. I think this, this is like a size 16 pant, which I know is way too big for me, but I think it's like a nice Italian knit, but I know it's too big, but it goes to a suit. I don't feel comfortable getting rid of it quite yet, even though I probably will never wear it, but I'm just gonna hold on to it. I'll probably get rid of it at some point, but not today. Like I said, more black pants. This is some gray pants too. Let's see. These are very old gray pants. Um, these are pretty old gray pants. I probably can get rid of those. Okay, I did it. Um, not only did I find five more items, I found 10 more items for I got to 50 items, so I'm not even sure how many more I needed. I think it's 10 items here, but whatever it is, altogether, I have actually found 50 items. Um, I just went in there and got a little ruthless. I was like, listen, I got to 48 and I realized I was at 49. And so I just found one more item to get the 50. And it was kind of fun. Like, okay, you got to get rid of X amount of items. And I just made myself do it partly by promising myself I could buy some new items to replace the old ones. For instance, this dress, I'm not sure if I ever wore it, but I was like, oh, you know, you could use a nice gray shift dress. And I said, you know what? It doesn't really fit. It's a 12P petite. So I'm not really a petite. I'm sort of not quite a 12. So it just never fit really, really well and i just kept trying to make it work and i'm not even sure i ever actually wore it so guess what i'm getting rid of it a bunch of white things that just one of the other things I, I told myself was if you wouldn't wear it out the house you need to get rid of it because i have a lot of clothes that i was like oh i just wear it in the house those are house clothes but if the majority of my wardrobe are things that i would only wear in the house and i would never get caught dead wearing outside the house you need to get rid of those things so this was one, it's just a white shirt, it's oversized. It's just kind of pickety too. So I just got rid of this, it's discolored. White is becoming a problem for me because of like the oils and stuff that I put in my hair. Um, here's another sweater. I said, hey, if you need a new white sweater for the next spring, summer season, you will buy one because you've had this one for years and it's just time to get rid of it. 
this white shirt I kept going back and forth this is the one I really had to bargain for because I'm like oh it's such a nice you know white shirt it's comfy but I was like I need to find something to get rid of and it has the short sleeves I don't like short sleeves like that mid sleeve I guess so I'm getting rid of it um this is a duster I love wearing these types of things however I have a bunch of them and this one has a hole in it can you see it yeah it has a hole in it so I would never wear it out and I have others so I'm like get rid of this one and then again another white sweater that is yellowed from oil for my hair and this black shirt I bought it it's just really big and oversized and see-through so it doesn't really serve any real purpose for me so got rid of that so yes <laughs> I can't believe it, it really didn't take me that long I thought it was gonna take me a lot longer to get rid of 50 items of clothes from my closet I can't believe it I feel like I'm doing a horrible job taking the video of it but you can see 50 items gone 50 items gone <sighs> So, reflection time. How does it feel to take a little bit of time and do something that's hard for you that you know will make you feel better? I'm very proud of myself. I It seems like a small thing probably to a lot of people, but for me, um, being able to take care of myself in this way is a very big deal. I am a bit of a pack rat. I am a, I have hoarding tendencies. I wouldn't say I'm a hoarder, but I do have hoarding tendencies and I'm a Virgo, you know? <laughs> so I love order and calm and tranquility. And most of my life, I have not lived in those types of spaces because I also have these tendencies to hold on to things. So you know, keeping pieces of paper. Let's not go in paper because that brings me a lot of anxiety just even thinking about cleaning that out. But I have to work on that as well. But for now, just doing the clothing, um, I just am proud that I have actually taken a little bit of time. I don't think it took more than like a half hour, a little bit more maybe than a half hour to really go through there. And I just had to kind of like bargain with myself and give myself grace and also just um make a little make a little um game out of it so it was very low stakes um to tell myself that i'm gonna get to 48 items uh but i got to 50 i'm very proud the grace came from just knowing that if i started to feel like overwhelmed or if I started to feel like a real difficulty getting rid of an item, I would just move past it and not like force myself to get rid of something that I feel like I'd be longing for afterwards. But really like all these clothes that I have down here, I don't think I wear any of those. I don't have any emotional connection to any of those and yet I've been holding on to them. And I feel freer and lighter and proud of myself just for letting things go. In recent months, I've been letting go of a lot of stuff. Um, relationships with people and um, um, the time I spend with certain individuals. I had to let go of things, not because they were bad, not because they were even bad for me, but it just no longer fit. Um, people who I love and care about very much, you know, I'm not like, getting rid of, of, of friends or anything like that. But I just had to kind of like take a step back from a lot of stuff um, just to take care of myself and to reprioritize what was really important in my life. And so this is part of it. You know, I'm, I'm making a lot of changes that I want to share, you know, on this channel. And part of it is really changing my environment. I just recently watched a video by the Afro Chic um, founders and they have a new book that I just ordered that's coming tomorrow and maybe I'll, I'll talk about that um, that's talking about African-American homes and just how important they are the way that we cultivate our homes the way we decorate them and it's important to me like this is my first home that I've purchased and we worked really really hard to get this home and it's a beautiful space it's beautiful I mean like 
it's a beautiful space. And yet I've cluttered it with a lot of things because of my old tendencies. And I want to enjoy my space and not feel cluttered. And I think the only way I can do that is to let go of things and embrace new things. And I feel like that's also true about my life. I want to cultivate a new and improved life. And the only way I can do that is by letting go of things so I can make room for those new things. So I am so proud of me. And um, I just thank you for watching this with me. Hopefully I can get it edited and up um, so I can start, you know, sharing more things um, about my my journey, my wellness journey, because this is all part of that wellness journey as I work to continue to learn to be a healer of myself and also a healer of others through the training I'm doing to become a counselor and trauma therapist and yoga therapist. Those are all the things I'm still working really, really hard on. But a lot of that healing has to happen internally as well. So I'm continuing to work on that. So thank you for watching and um, I'll see you next time. Take care.